A lot of people don't really think about how they get around every day. Um, they don't think about, you know, carrying groceries up their stairs or, you know, opening a can of soup with a can opener. Um, or even opening a doorknob, for example. Like, these are all things that I find incredibly difficult. And in some cases, I have to get people to help me with. Um, that's just a short list. I mean, I could go on and tell you a thousand things that I find difficult that a lot of people take for granted every day. So you can only imagine how difficult it can be for me to navigate the uneven, bouldery terrain of the different uh, river systems uh, in and around the terrace. I try not to let, you know, my physical disability affect me and stop me from enjoying the beautiful outdoors and getting out and passing a fly and hooking into some big salmon and steelhead. I could easily say, you know what, this is too hard and I don't want to do it and, you know, be poor and say, poor me, but I refuse to do that. My name's Mick Miller and this is my dog, Kaylee. I got into fly fishing last March in thanks to a good buddy of mine, uh, Chad Black. He took me out to the Lake House River where um, he taught me how to cast a single-handed fly rod. And after that experience, I kind of just fell in love with it. I have a medical condition called Triple A Syndrome, and its characteristics are Addison's disease, achalasia, alacrima, and autonomic neuropathy. So the part that affects me on the river is the, uh, the autonomic neuropathy, which causes muscle weakness, loss of balance, uh, fatigue, and muscle cramps. Uh, I find ways, you know, to get out onto the river and be able to get around and, uh, you know, navigate the, the uneven terrain where I might slip or I might, you know, lose my balance and fall in the river, which I've done many times. <laughs> uh, so for example, I use a waiting staff. Uh, and that helps me kind of feel out the, the river bottom, feel for any, you know, uh, holes that I might, you know, trip over or any big boulders that I might trip over again. Um, I use a wrist strap that goes around my wrist and then goes around the rod and that helps me with any kind of fatigue in my lower arm. It also helps me power through my casting stroke and kind of makes up for the muscle that I don't have in my lower forearm. Because of the lack of dexterity I have in my hands, tying knots, uh, it can be incredibly difficult and it can take me, you know, a dozen tries to get a knot that, you know, a, a normal person would tie in a matter of seconds. Um, you know, I get frustrated and I, I get pissed off and sometimes I think, why am I doing this? But honestly, the reason I'm doing this is because being out in nature, being out on the river with my dog just, it makes me feel good. I, I'm definitely not gonna let this condition uh, stop me from getting out on the riverbank. She was made of mercury. She'd come to get a little piece by piece. And it became a game they played under the blankets in the bed. Pretending she was small and he was big. She became
came so small he could lift her body and heart and all he held her up naked she was just as fair just as fair said how do you know baby you are said how do you know baby you are said how do you know 